In front of the woodwind sits a swathe of up to 60 string players, of which normally half perform on the smallest and highest instrument, the violin. Split into two groups, the so-called firsts and seconds, these virtuosos generally play more notes than anyone else in the orchestra, like a party of peacocks in perfect alignment. The violinist sitting right next to the conductor is the leader of the orchestra or concertmaster. They are the equivalent of the team captain. Slightly larger and deeper, the viola is the violin's big sister. This group shares the melancholic singing quality that we heard from the oboe. Bigger still are the ten cellos. Too large to play under the chin, the wistfully expressive sound of the instrument is the closest amongst the strings to a human voice. The largest string instrument, our blue whale, is the double bass. These giants support the rest of the ensemble with their heavy, husky, grandfatherly sound. The original and still greatest subwoofer. And finally, the brilliantly flamboyant first cousin of all these string instruments, the harp. Like an upturned piano with its interior exposed, the sound of its 47 strings is both sumptuous and seductive. 